HGH is going to be human growth hormone. As we're growing in our adolescence, teenager years, growth hormone is really, really high. So if it goes high in the body, you're actually going to start growing your epithelial plates or your bones. It grows your heart, it grows your brains, it grows your skin, it grows you know everything in the body. As we age, it kind of decreases over time. Is it the anti-aging nutrient or hormone? How do you use it? How do you not use it? HGH is going to be important. Stimulated out of your pituitary gland to secrete somatotropes, which is growth hormone. You can do that naturally with some peptides, CJC, epimorelin, tesmorelin, GHRP. There's lots of different growth hormone secretagogues that you can use to stimulate your pituitary gland to secrete growth hormone. That's endogenous production of growth hormone. If you're taking a synthetic version of growth hormone, you do injections, that's an exogenous form. HGH will actually improve in the body or the bloodstream. Then your body has a negative feedback loop. It'll actually bring growth hormone or your pituitary function down. Your body's telling, it's detecting higher growth hormone levels. So it'll actually decrease growth hormone levels over time, naturally. So that's the main difference if you're taking exogenous versus endogenous. I always, I always tell patients, I throw lighter fluid or gas in a fire to actually improve your body's endogenous production versus exogenous uh, HGH.